so why i am trying to design this one all is so now what i want to tell you is so we have learned all about the transition thing and everything is completed so now when we are implementing the last concept which is left out is the when we are having a routing thing when we are moving from one page to another page so we need to have a transition effect so now right now we have learned all the animations and all those things right for routing for moving from one page to another page so how can we design a how we how can we do the animation thing so that is the thing i want to explain you so here let's try to get back our original routing thing navigation so navigation navigation i have did it so navigation will come and here we'll be having container dot container mm, dot row dot call hyphen md hyphen 12 so these are the things right which we will be having so now in this one <coughs> I don't know why this one is created okay so now in this one so here we will be having router view i remember like this one i think router view yeah so this is our router view let's see the output how it will happen yeah so this is our old uh, routing thing which we have did it right now for animation things we have removed all those things in the home page we have implemented all those things now when we are trying to click on about contact like this so immediately these pages are getting visible right instead of this one so you can move it from down to bottom or back to some from left to right or opacity thing so slightly fading out and fading in so like this also we can do it for doing this one so let's jump to the view router now you'll be able to understand it so here they will be giving you all the options so router so here you'll be having this uh, transitions now they are asking us to copy this one okay in order to use transitions you need to use the vfn slot api so i am copying this one all so now here instead of using this router view i am pasting this router view okay so we have pasted this one and this one is having a name of paid so now what i can do here here i can have something like dot paid hyphen enter hyphen from and here for the same thing dot fade hyphen leave hyphen to leave hyphen to so on, another one is dot paid hyphen enter hyphen to comma dot paid hyphen leave hyphen from so these are things and the last one is dot paid hyphen enter hyphen active comma dot paid hyphen leave hyphen active so these are the classes which you will get it so now whatever the animations you want you can do it but i want to do some i will do the basic thing only opacity 0 to <coughs> opacity 1 and here i can use the transition all so one second uh, we can use easy and easy oh is out whatever thing you want you can use it i don't want to go deeper into that one <coughs> so now we have applied this animations thing so now when i am clicking on this one so we are able to see some effect some effect we are able to see it some are working some are not working and we are having this uh, transition thing right so we can have we already know about the mode option so we can keep mode so first it needs to the routing the old routing has to go away then afterwards the new routing which is coming it needs to come so we can do this option what is that we are doing so we have did this uh, mode out in right now let's see what will happen so some the output is not at all coming right now so what is the problem let's see an inspect element um, if you go and see an inspect element in the console you will be able to see some options or some information they will try to give maximum contact reach what is this one okay so it is telling component inside transition renders a non-element root node that cannot be animated so we know that transition needs only a one element root node so it should have only one child element some components are having uh, more than one child element and it seems so let's go to the about it is having one root element only Co contact see this contact is having two root elements so for this one we need to give one root element so or otherwise transitions will not work so it will create some issues so you need to in, uh, remember these all things so here also we don't have one root so we need to keep it in all the things in one main view so the transition will apply to all these things footer footer is having only one home 
home is also having multiple so let's try to make these all things as one root node so that now you will be able to understand it home footer okay not phone so this one also make it as one root node it's better for every component when you are you are creating so better to have one root node only mm, u2 doesn't support uh, u2 must and should it will allow us to have one root node only but u3 so they have created they have provided as an option to have multiple root nodes also but some of the other transitions and all those things will not work so for us we need to have transitions to work right so this one is having one root node only that's it so we have created all the pages we are having all the things as one root node now let's go on to this one let's refresh this page i think hopefully this has to work okay so post has a child without a name so okay fine so it has a child routing right so fine so that one routing leave it so now if you try to see here now that not now the transition appearing so here if you try to click here see first the routing is going away and slowly it is appearing so if i click on this one post slowly the tabot will go and slowly posts will come if you want you can also apply the translate thing also where is that we have applied here if you want you can also apply translate thing also so yeah, you can have, have this translate sorry transform right transform translate so x axis minus 30 pixel anything so minus 30 pixel or minus 100 pixel and it needs to come to zero pixel so you can apply it like this <coughs> if i try to refresh this page see now it is coming if i click on home it is going away and these are coming and if i click here these are going away and these are coming so whichever you want you can do it so you can increase the speed also i have given one second right so you can keep it as 0 0.5 seconds or 0 0.2 seconds so that the routing will be very fast so it will be no lagging and all those things see immediately those are coming so now this create this creates these all things so create post and all those things this chain routing is there right for this chain routing also we need to create the same animation router view so we need to create a transition and all those things we need to do it so this is how we can do the animations for the routing thing also so for routing for routers path whenever we are trying to do it so when you want to do an animation so we can do it like this so this is also one thing so this is all about the animations and transition these are all the concepts related to the an animations and the transitions so by this we have completed completed everything related to the transition thing so next we will move on to the login registration so by this view.js everything is completed